Yeah, you. Get over here. I said get over here. What's the problem? Oh, I see. Yeah, I get it. You're thinking, ooh, that's a big, bad, scary wolf. I don't want to talk to him. He's a monster. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. Just because I've got big, pointy teeth and razor-sharp claws, and I occasionally like to dress up like an old lady, that doesn't mean I'm a bad guy. It's the bad guys. The Bad Guys is a graphic novel by Aaron Bl... 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 Blabby? Bl... Bla Blaby? Hang on. I'm Aaron Blaby, author of the Bad Guys series. Aaron Blaby. It was published by Scholastic in 2015. The Bad Guys is about Mr. Wolf, Mr. Shark, Mr. Snake and Mr. Piranha, four animals that people normally think are mad, bad or dangerous to know. But these four bad guys are trying to become good guys by doing good deeds. This isn't easy when you look scary and you like to eat meat. Will the other animals believe that they are there to help them? So this is a very good book um, because it takes these three animals that traditionally people have been scared of and there have been a lot of stories about how these animals are bad or dangerous or maybe show like uh, characteristics of people that we normally think of as being pretty bad and uh, turning these expectations on their heads um, and a, a good example of how the reputation of these animals um, in stories is used uh, is in the rap sheets here so this is Mr Wolf's rap sheet from the police department um, and under criminal activity, it's got some examples of things that he has done. So we've got blowing down houses. The three pigs involved were too scared to press charges. So this is a reference to the Three Little Pigs story, which is very familiar. Uh, next one, impersonating sheep. So this is one of Aesop's fables uh, about a, a wolf that puts on a, a sheep's fleece. Um, so he looks like a sheep and he can get close to the other sheep in order to try and eat them. Um, and the last one says, breaking into the homes of old women, impersonating old women, attempting to eat old women, attempting to eat relatives of old women. So all of this is talking about uh, Little Red Riding Hood, the uh, fairy story and, and folk tale. Um, uh, this is what the wolf did in that fairy story. So uh, it's, it's very funny and, and, and very good and it, and it uses what we know about these animals and then tries to turn all of that upside down. Anyway, let's go back to the review. Chapter 4. Cruising for Trouble Hey, where are your hats? They looked dopey. I don't really have a head. I ain't mine. Hey man, why are we driving around in this stupid car? Stupid car. This car is a fuel-injected 200 horsepower rock and rolling chariot of flaming coolness, my friend. If we're gonna be good guys, don't you think we should look good too? And it's roomy, too. Hey, it's a sweet ride, Chico. But I get car sick, man. So, what are we doing out here? 
We're looking for trouble, my friend. If we're going to be heroes, we always need to be on the lookout for trouble. We need to be able to smell trouble. In fact, wait a second. I think I can smell trouble right now. Wow, it's really strong, actually. Hang on, that's not... Ah, who farted? Hey, what's the big deal, Chico? God travel makes me let off a little gas. So what? Actually, that feels quite nice. Seriously, though, man, what are we looking for? That is what we're looking for, Mr. Snake. The Bad Guys is easy to read. If you like graphic novels or action stories, I recommend it to you. It's a little bit short, but there are more books in this series. Mr. O approves of The Bad Guys.